This is the dungeon. The dungeon? Well, you know, my uh, crawl space. Oh my god, it's an army. <laughs> so, yeah. right, wait, are you secretly building your own private robot army? <laughs> I mean, it's already done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so is this the official welcome party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When friends come to my shop, they're greeted by Megaton. So I've actually, I've ridden this guy. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, this is the latest rendition. Um, after some of its first fights, this is like a, a backup shell. So it's all nice and pretty. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, yeah. Well, it's got to be, you know, this, this was bigger than all the robots at some point, And then... Huge came around. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Nom. So I, I have to know why the ladybug theme. What made you choose that um, to scare all the competitors with? Well, the Tentamushi I designed and built when I was fourteen, original, like the the lighter weight, smaller version, and <clears throat> I was literally going around going around Toys R Us trying to find like a really, just trying to get ideas. So a lot of times, even nowadays, I go to hardware stores and just look around for stuff. And I saw the Ladybug Sandbox at Toys R Us and I was like, that's cool. <laughs> um, but they stopped making that. And also like uh, for the latest BattleBots, they're <clears throat> 250 pounds. So I needed a, lar a much larger version. And luckily, after thinking of all the different things I could do and all the different roto molds and whatever, um, I was like, that's crazy. Let me look at Toys R Us one more time. And <laughs> they had like a crab. And so this was actually like, that is a claw that used to be over here or somewhere. And I cut it off and, and I patched up the sides and I turned it into a face and then added eyeballs. So this you know like uh, this, this taken a few days of plastic surgery to turn <laughs> this, this, like lobster thing into a ladybug but i i think it it looks you know the, the spots really do it they really yeah, yeah i was about to say i would have it. never known this was not a la an original ladybug shell <laughs> but now i totally see the line yeah of where that was meant to be a crab claw there's the claw <laughs> <laughs> So what's the craziest thing you've ever seen at a robot contest? <laughs> and we can that, go inside while you think about I, this one. Yeah, I need to think about that one. I have to move around. The lights are... Uh, <laughs> the craziest thing... Um... Well, being a judge, it's hard to really, like the stuff that I really remember is when I feel like I'm gonna die, when the robots are coming right at me. <laughs> um, so that's usually like uppercut, like that one just, it's always at the right angle. Uh, and I'm always sitting, like for some reason the robots always box rush onto the side where the judges are. And so. It's always leave an impression somehow. Yeah, it, it leaves an impression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, and this is the Plan X blade. Oh, wow. That thing is this huge. Is, this has been like under my feet, on the under the desk, and then yeah. So I moved it yesterday, and I had a lot more leg room. But this thing is like <laughs> it's like seventy pounds. Um, but yeah. So the mega mega tento face. So what is it like since you've been a competitor and a judge? What is it like being a judge on BattleBots? It is the most fun, intense, scariest, life-changing uh, situation that one could ever be in. <laughs> Sometimes you really are like scared for your, your life and you're holding your breath um, and, and you're very close to the action, um, but that also means it's like a lot of fun and you get the best seats in the house. Um, and deep down we have to remind ourselves that we are safe and that Trey tells us that we're safe. <laughs> For the people who don't know, there's a new appeal system this year. Can you describe to us what it is? 
Um, so, I'm, I'm looking around for robots. Um, okay. Oh, it's when you were in the Happy Meal. And again, Tentamushi and Mountain Dew here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, so let's say the teams fight, Tentamushi wins, obviously. And then, um, but Mountain Dew is like, I don't think so. I don't think the judges saw something or like we totally don't feel like the other team won. If they have, um, if the, the team has like reason enough to believe that they should have actually won, they can tell our mediator um, and both teams will say what they saw um, in terms of the fight and the outcome. And that mediator then tells that to us judges and we can uh, basically rewatch uh, a replay of the video as many times as we need of, of the fight and rescore it if we think that there's you know if they actually saw something that we couldn't see if there's another camera angle um, so that uh, so yeah so it's super fair and it's, it's basically like the challenge flag in football um, so yeah I think it's a great addition do you feel like this is second guessing you in some way? How did the judges feel about the new appeal system? Uh, I mean, speaking for myself, um, I think as a as a sports fan or a fan of the Packers, um, uh, you know, for those of you who know N NFL and the rules, like uh, if there's a call that that the other team does not like, they can throw a red flag. Oh my God, I actually have one. <laughs> it, it was red. It went. They can challenge it, and um, I think that's really good. And really good that battle belts can now have that because, basically, us judges are in one point watching the fight. We can't see everything. We have a pretty good idea, but there's you know on the complete opposite side of us, we can't really see if something's happening on the on the other side always. Um, so. I, I think it's really good to make sure that everyone feels that it's fair and if they saw something they think that we didn't see that they can tell us. Um, so I think I think it is a good idea to have that. <laughs> this is the dungeon. The dungeon? Well, you know, my uh, cross face. Oh my god, it's an army. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. all right, wait, are you secretly building your own private robot army? <laughs> I mean... It's already done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if we need more lights. No, this is perfect. Oh, okay. Them uh, it's the dungeon. Looking. Yeah, so it's just honestly, so Mega Tento was built to be the biggest and to cover opponents. So that's why um, it's hard to find spaces that can fit this guy. Uh so this is yeah, this is this just the back portion with all the all the brains, all the guts, and lifting mechanism usually um, goes here, and then the big the tentamushi ladybug shell goes there in the middle. And why why so many? Oh, why so many? Um, why not so many? Why not so many? <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually more. There's like over there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so all the small ones, these are like original Tentamushi, um, which is like when I was 14 on the Comic Central BattleBots. Um, and I would, I don't even remember, I may have had a backup shell. I don't even think I did though. Um, but I fought in so many seasons, like um, sometimes we even did BattleBots twice a year. So each one represents like a whole nother BattleBot season. Mm -hmm. Do you ever miss competing? You know, there's there's parts of it. I every single time I'm watching and judging fights, I just I want to be driving. I want to go in there and I look at their designs and I think, what could I do that's totally different? Because there's a few different styles of of weapons and it's like I just I want to do something different. There's got to be something out there that no one's done. Um, so I'm always like thinking about what that would be yeah so mixing. that's plan x right yeah that's the that's the plan x and is this the 60 pound tenno 60 pound one of the really 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 original like maybe even the first version of tentamushi 
Yeah. Wow. Alongside my Halloween. <laughs> Halloween supplies and old paint. <laughs> wow. Uh oh, we're getting out the big case now. Yeah, you want to fight? All right. You want to fight? Miss that. Oh my god! And my tiny tento. Tiny tento. Yeah. <laughs> Even with the spinner and everything. Wow. Yeah. So is this a 30 pounder? I don't, I mean, it's it's not for a competition, so I have no clue how much it weighs, but I just wanted to make a scaled down model. Basically took my Fusion CAD model and shrunk it. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get the ladybug shell? Uh, I made a form and vacuum formed it and then uh, with clear and then uh, painted on oh the inside, gosh. yeah. It's so cute. I'm really bad at impressions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is not an impression, but okay. <laughs> Hello, Scorpios. I'm going to kill Leo. <laughs> <I'm> just so bad. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>